demonstrating a Gorilla Alarm on a 2009 R1. You get two remotes. As you can see, one has the display and the other does not. Uh, let me show you underneath the uh, passenger seat on the tail section. You can notice some wiring. And then you have a uh, receiver here for the remote signal. So let me go ahead and... Um, well, first let me uh, mention that as of now the bike is disarmed and you can you can see that um, display there. The signal that it's giving you here is as of though the alarm went off, um, but it's simply disarmed. So let's arm it now. So you heard the chirp on the bike and you can see um, the display switch to arm has a lock button and the uh, other signals went away. So I'm gonna give a really light tap on the seat and let's see if it goes off. Okay, that was just a kind of a warning signal, but I'm gonna tap it a little bit harder. Okay. So the alarm's going off and you can see the remote. Okay, the unlock button um, or disarm on this remote didn't work so well, so I switched over to this one. Um, so obviously you heard the alarm, you saw the signals going off, and if this was in your pocket, it was vibrating. Uh, I'm not sure on the range, probably, you know, maybe up to a mile or so, um, if you're away from the bike. Um, maybe not even that far, but it will uh, vibrate in your pocket and you can run back to the bike and check on it. So um, that was a demo of the alarm. If, uh, if you're interested in getting one, now you know how it works.